Hi everybody, my name is John and this is Maniac's Garage. Before I get started for today's episode, I wanna just thank you guys for the ones that have been following this build since the beginning or for a long time. Uh, we've been working on this for getting close to two years. Um, it's a pretty involved project. It's a 49 Ford body sitting on a 2008 BMW 335i chassis. So the entire chassis, suspension, transmission, motor, is all BMW, interior uh, components under the dash, all BMW, chopped, it's shortened, it's wi the wider fenders, big wheels, coilover suspension, and the engine. We have all kinds of cool performance stuff on it. Big turbo sticking through the hood. So, a pretty involved project, and we are at literally seven days before we have to have it completed, put together, and on a trailer, heading to Las Vegas for the SEMA show 2021. So as you can see, we got a lot still ahead of us. So please consider subscribing. We put out at least one episode a week. Right now we're putting out a couple of episodes because we're doing so many different things. And make sure to share it with your friends. Leave us a thumbs up. Let's get into this. Today, I'm gonna try painting the roll cage. I'm not a painter. I have painted some stuff before. I've even painted a f some you know, entire cars before, but it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. I don't even have my gun anymore. I can't find my paint gun, so I went ahead and bought this gun set. It's just a low cost set. Again, I'm not gonna be painting for a living, you know? I'm gonna use this gun, but I gotta put it together first. So I'm gonna get started with this, figure it out, got the paint, all ready to go. I'm gonna have to mix it and get it into the gun. I gotta still clean the cage, make sure that there are no oils on it or grease of any kind so that the paint will adhere properly. And of course, I have to mask off everything that I don't want paint to get on. Okay, well, I think I got the gun put together. Got my air gauge on here, air pressure gauge. Now I'm gonna plastic cover everything that I don't want overspray to get on. Okay, cool. All that's left now is to cover the car. And but I think I'm gonna get in there first and I'm gonna wipe down this cage with some lacquer thinner. Make sure I get all the grease, fingerprints, things like that off of it. I'm gonna start in the hardest to reach areas and work my way out. So I'm not touching it with my arms and stuff. Of course, as luck would have it, I have everything covered, almost, and my fitting on my air hose breaks, so it's just gushing air out. Can't use it. Everything's closed, it's Sunday night. But luckily, Ryan doesn't live that far away, and he's got one of everything. So, he's bringing one of these fittings right now. Hopefully, he'll be able to bail me out and I can still paint this cage tonight. Arriving to save the day as usual. You are saving the day, <laughs> man. You're not gonna believe it. This thing just started gushing air out, man. I will believe it, because I thought it felt really tight the other day. Yeah, so I got it all broken loose already, so there it is. Cool. Hopefully, hopefully that's what you got. Hopefully I have some more tape, size. so. Oh, you brought tape. some tape too. Yeah. Masking took way longer than I anticipated, but it is all masked now really well. And I wiped the bars off one more time. Back window, through the trunk, 
be able to shoot the cage. I did the same thing on the front windshield as well, so I should be able to get in. Covered up all the wires. Wires down here were kind of hard. I'm leaving this out because I think I might end up spraying it the same color as the cage. I'll be all covered anyway, but at least it won't rust. So when you're painting, you have to have proper gear because it gets everywhere. And you want to make sure that you have a respirator. I ended up buying one because I couldn't find my old one. I forgot to bring my head sock. I have several because of my razor. So I just made one, taped it up on the top. Don't laugh, but it's going to work. Should be pretty good. So this is my primer. It's an epoxy primer, which means that it can go on bare steel, bonds into it better and protects the steel from rusting. This is the uh, activator for the primer. So you got to put this in here because that's what makes it kick. So it doesn't just dry on its own. I am going to also have to put 10% of this reducer in there. I think that just makes it a little bit thinner. So it flows a little better. But then this is my base coat. So this is black primer. This is my bronze. It's a metallic, really, really nice. This is what our center of our wheels are. So it's like a metallic pearl bronze. So this is gonna need two to one. So two parts base or paint, one part reducer. And then this is our matte clear because I'm gonna spray it with kind of a matte finish, just like the wheels. This is the clear, this is the activator for the clear. And we were told that if we mix it five parts of this clear, one part activator, it should give us a really nice eggshell, kind of a satin finish. Here comes a motorcycle. Okay, you may or may not want to use that one, Connor. All right. So, this little setup right here, just this set me back a solid 450 bucks. I was pretty shocked. I'm going to get started. All right, well, it's the next morning. I just ended up running out of steam last night, but not before I sprayed the whole cage with the K2 black epoxy primer. And it turned out pretty good. It was really hard to get in all the angles. I did end up sagging it. It's not really like a run, but it's like a sag right here. I started sanding and I'm gonna go ahead and try to sand that out. I think I sagged it a bit right here too. I'm gonna sand that out. Other than that, it looks really good. So I'm gonna work on that, and try to get that base coat on right now. All right, well, it's time to mix the base coat. So this is the base coat, which is a really cool uh, bronze. So when you do a two to one, which is what the mixture is supposed to be on this. So it's two parts base, one part reducer. So it's really cool with these mixing cups. They make it really easy. So you go to the chart that says two to one and however much you want to put in here. So you can put these uh, the parts in here. So like I'm at five. So if I wanna go one part reducer, I go over to the right side right here, which is a reducer, and I match up with the line on the five, and then that gets me that two to one mixture that I'm looking for.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am excited because it's been about 24 hours since I started this paint project. And I'm finally at the point where I'm getting ready to mix the clear and shoot that clear coat on. Gosh, I hope it goes on smooth because everything else so far has not gone smoothly. I sprayed the epoxy primer. I sagged that sucker several places. I didn't catch it until I sprayed the bronze base coat and then it really showed up my sags. So I had to wait, let it dry, sand those out, reshoot them with the bronze base coat, but it's looking really cool. And this color, it is expensive. It's from BASF, but it kicks and it changes. It changes like hues. If it's like sunlight outside, it looks warmer. It has more of a reddish like tint to it. And like right now, it's just inside the shop with the fluorescence on. It just kind of looks a little, a little more tan, I guess, but it's bronze, it's metallic. It's super cool. And I am excited because I'm gonna start mixing this clear right now. And finally, I am done. It looks a little shiny because it's still a little wet on this side, but it's actually gonna look more like this, which is kind of an eggshell satin finish. And it turned out really, really good. I did spend a long time on it. I spent all day today and a good part of yesterday uh, shooting the primer, base coat, and the clear coat. And I gotta tell you guys, it looks really cool. And this color is awesome. So this color actually matches the centers of our wheels, uh, our painted wheels, which are stacked over here. And even our sign, so this is gonna be a show sign. Painted that to match. And then these are the little rings on the BMW gauges. That's the 49 Ford clock surround. It's all matching. So I'm gonna call this one a day. This was a long, long, day and a half. That did not include all the sanding that Jim did on this uh, roll cage preparing it. That was probably a solid two to three days as well. So a lot of time, a lot of effort and a little bit of money as well into this even though we're doing you know the labor. So thank you guys so much for following this build 49 Ford body swap BMW and make sure you guys are subscribed. Putting videos out right now like crazy trying to get the SEMA. See you guys in the next one.